we are going to be learning all from Daria right now. Um, I have some fun facts about Daria that I want to share. But before I do, I want to encourage everyone, any questions you have throughout any of these talks, even feedback, we'll take feedback in the chat as well. <laughs> um, please, please reach out and let us know. Um, but next up, we have Daria, who has worked on web and serverless technologies for nearly a decade. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome to SWA Comp, Daria. How are you doing today, Daria? Hi, I'm so happy to be here. And uh, Daria, what is your favorite thing about the web? My favorite thing about the web and about working on web and serverless is just making it simpler and simpler and simpler um, for people and organizations to establish that web presence and participate in the global economy. And that's so important. I think accessibility to being able to build websites, to be able to have um, any sort of, you know, product or, or any sort of like enterprise software out there, but also just the local businesses or someone who has their own craft site can now get online, which is so exciting. So thank you for helping uh, get everyone online here. And you're going to be talking to us about static web apps and the production API. Is that right? Yes, I can't wait to tell you about um, essentially how to bring a serverless API to your Azure static web apps project. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm taking notes. I've got my I've got my gel pens here. <laughs> I will let you take away Daria. Thank you. Well, my name is Daria Grigoriou, and I am the PM manager working on Azure Static Web Apps. A little bit about our vision. Our vision for Azure Static Web Apps is to provide a hosting service and experience for streamlined full stack web development from source code to global high availability. Now, an optional component for that full stack web solution is the set of backend APIs that can be associated with your front end static web app. Backend APIs are not required, but there are situations where they can be useful just to um, deliver um, a richer, more dynamic web experience. For this reason, Azure Static Web Apps includes a deep integration with Azure Functions to power your serverless APIs. This integration encompasses everything from local development to deployment, to management in the cloud, and to dynamic scale based on the demand of your end users. And with this, we can build a fully serverless app because we have essentially your static content that is now running on a web server. And then we have the serverless API that does not require you to manage any servers. Um, and yet, it's a fully tailored, very powerful, and scalable solution for your web app needs. So today, we will talk about how simple it is to add these serverless APIs to your Azure Static Web Apps project. A good example for when it's useful to add APIs to your project is when you have any kind of pre or post processing of data to personalize or to enrich the experience of your end users. This is um, the example that we will explore in our next steps. So for today, we will be looking at a sample React app. And all this app does is sourcing facts about the Earth from um, Azure Functions connecting to a Cosmos DB database. These facts for demo purposes are just sourced from Wikipedia with a proper citation in the source code. But we already have this composed solution that we can explore and expand. So here in our app, we um, have a button that is um, essentially just generating these facts every time that we click the button, calling Azure Functions and going to our Cosmos DB database. Now, 
When we go to our management experience in the Azure portal, you can see the Azure Static Web App. And you can see that we have um, essentially our connection to the source code. And we also have a tab here for Azure Functions. When we look at the Azure Functions tab, I have a function that is already listed showing my facts about the earth. Not only that, but the Azure portal tells me specifically that I'm deploying my functions from my repository. So I integrated these with my source code from my static web app. Now, in addition to integrating my source code, I also have integrated configuration. Here, I am able to specify my Cosmos DB connection string so that I can actually work with my function. So how did I do that? How do we make this happen? Well, here is my project. And you can see that in addition to my source code for the front end, I have an API folder. And in this API folder, I have my get facts function. And right here, I can add a new um, function. So I can extend my API just by going to the Azure Static Web Apps extension and by asking it to add a new function for me. We'll call it demo. And if we go back to our source code, look at this. With just one click, I got a new function added. So it's easy not only to add this, but also to run everything locally. So this is um, a demo function. All it does is it um, gives me an HTTP trigger that I can call from my app. And the way that I would call it is directly as a relative route because we expose these functions through the API route. So I will call it the same way that I call my get facts. Um, and all I have to do is just specify the name of my function. That works both locally and in the cloud as well, because it's a relative path. If I want to run both my front end and my back end together right here, then I can run the Azure Static Web App CLI that Wesley just talked about. And I can tell this um, CLI that I have an API folder and I would like my APIs to be started for me. And then I can essentially go to my local host and I can work with both my front end and my back end together. So um, this is going to actually show me where I can um, access both of those components as it's coming up. And um, I can go to my browser right here. I can look at my app. Let's double check that this was started. Okay, let's just try again. And then, um, it's great that I have all this information right here for me to get some feedback and know when everything is ready and when I can access all the components of my solution. So here's my app and it's loading earth facts. So it's calling my function and you can see right here, I also have an emulator for auth. So I can essentially log in as myself and I can test that as well so that I can have the full development stack available. So when I need to deploy this, all I have to do is commit my changes. 
And in my repo right here, um, my repo for Earth Facts, Azure Studied Web Apps generates a workflow. And um, this workflow is essentially um, asking to listen for push of the code or pull request, and then triggers GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions gives us, of course, a lot of feedback and transparency from what happens with our project. And you can see that Azure Static Web Apps takes care of building everything for you, including the API. So here's an example of a previous run where um, you can see a successful build of my, my functions. So actually, all we had to do is use the tooling to add the API right from Visual Studio Code to run the front end and the back end together um, and do that locally the same way that we would do in the cloud. So we have a great experience transitioning from local experience to remote cloud experience. Um, and then Static Web Apps takes care of building and deploying everything, distributing the content for static front and globally, and associating the managed serverless functions, um, which are going to scale dynamically based on demand. Now, um, we could actually stop right here, but this is not where we stopped in building our support for serverless functions with um, static web apps. So we actually went one step further and we thought about what happens when you have an existing Azure Functions project, because you may want to reuse um, code that you've already written. You may want to um, have that API called from maybe um, more than just one client. Um, and so I have a project right here um, that is an existing um, Azure function, um, and um, it's a Python function. And I have this deployed to um, specifically my um, premium Azure functions. And um, I'm able to do things like building a work cloud and in the future, um, adding more analysis to that. So um, every time that I call my function, um, I can essentially interact with it right here. This is my Azure function resource in uh, the Azure portal. And you can see that I have my, um, my function added right here. It's hosted on uh, premium, like I mentioned, and I have the freedom to use more languages and more features because I'm managing this project independently. The configuration, um, unlike in the previous example, is specifically associated with the function app. So in this case, my Cosmos DB connection is specified here in the function app. And um, another thing that's specified right here is my App Insights integration. So uh, when I go to App Insights, I can see this resource specifically. Um, and I can um, also see its interaction with other components like um, uh, the Cosmos DB database as well. Now, um, when I go to my front end from here, you can um, have the same experience. Uh, we go to the functions tab and you can see this particular function app, even though it's an external resource, is now associated with my um, static web app, so I can access this under the API route, just as I did before. And when I call it from my uh, code right here, you can see that I am calling it as if it was integrated with my Azure Static Web Apps project, because it is. And when I mean integrated, I really, I really think about a full integration. Like, for example, if you have um, authentication and authorization enable on your front end, which I do here, then um, you're able to propagate that end user information across your front end and your back end. So now that I am logged in, if I look here at my developer tooling, 
you will see that um, headers are being passed from the front end to the back end as well. So um, let's make another code to it and go to this um, function call. And um, I will point you to the, the information that we passed so you can see right here that I am connected and I'm able to communicate that information to my backend. So that was kind of a, a whirlwind view of the um, integrations that we've built uh, for you between uh, Azure Static Web Apps and Azure Functions. Um, just to kind of recap this whirlwind of information, um, Azure Static Web Apps and Azure Functions are seamlessly integrated. We manage that integration with routing through the API route, and we don't even uh, require you to configure cores because the calls are actually routed through our infrastructure. You have direct access to user authentication and role-based authorization, um, and this data is available across front-end and back-end. And once you have everything set up and ready for you in the cloud, Azure Functions scale dynamically um, to uh, meet the, the low times and the high times of your end user engagement. We went over two different options for integrating Azure Functions as your serverless APIs with Azure Static Web Apps. The first one was Manage Functions. Um, this is essentially the option where you put um, your code in the same project structure for static web app and functions. And then we um, are able to um, build, provision, and fully manage that from the Azure Static Web Apps platform. The second option is bringing your own functions, that is an existing Azure function uh, project um, that you deploy and configure as a standalone resource, and then you can connect to Azure Static Web Apps for all the benefits of the API integration. You can um, go to our docs for a list of features that are available for each of them. Um, and you can um, see that um, there is a trade-off between having um, the convenience of us managing the functions for you. Um, sometimes that's all you need. Um, and then the little bit of overhead of managing that yourself if you need um, just an extensive amount of flexibility with the list of features available. So there you go. You can learn all of this and more um, at AKMS WebDocs um, with our documentation. I once again was muted. <laughs> uh, Daria, I was just saying I love Azure Functions. I use Azure Functions in all of my applications. So finding out that Azure Static Web Apps and Azure Functions play well together is just music to my heart. Um, we have a bunch of questions for you here. So I'm going to just jump right into them. Um, is it possible to use more than one function app in a static web app? Uh, at this point, no. But uh, you can actually have more than one function uh, in your function app. So um, again, we run on feedback. So we would definitely want to learn more about uh, what and why you would need so that we can um, work on, on that for you. Awesome. Yeah, and definitely um, check. you can leave uh, any feedback in the chat. And of course, we have a bunch of um, links that we can share that you can provide product feedback. Here's a good question from Fred. Where would we see the console logs from Daria's function? Um, so because we have the integration with App Insights, you would basically interact with these functions through App Insights the same way that you interact outside of the context of um, Azure Static Web Apps. Perfect. Super easy, all in one place. And then we had this question at the start of the conference, so I want to make sure that we ask it. Um, when using managed functions with SWA, do you have some flexibility for warm, hot start um, as with standard functions? If not, then how does cores work when linking to an existing function app? We talked about that a little bit in the sense of um, the, the trade-off between um, the, the 
um, convenience and the productivity of having us manage everything for you and having more flexibility and more control when you manage the resources. So uh, when you run um, your functions uh, yourself on um, something like premium functions, uh, you can access more options in terms of the performance of those Azure functions. Um, but because we link them back to our static web apps resource, um, you again don't need to configure cores because we route everything through our infrastructure for you. Perfection. And one last question. Does the integrated function scale out separate from the SWA or do they scale out together? I would say they scale out a little bit differently because um, for our static content, uh, we distribute that globally for you from the moment of your deployment. But Azure functions scale dynamically to zero and back out um, when you need them to scale. If there's no activity, then um, you know being serverless, uh, they don't need to run. And then um, we detect when there is um, end user activity, and then they scale as high or as low as they need to. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, Daria. 